Wow, this transition from Zero feel the sounds of Kenya is awesome. We should definitely try it out in Premiere Pro. Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial where I'll be explaining you how to create this transition. I'm gonna use two different video clips from the video feel the sounds of Kenya as I couldn't manage similar video clips. If you wanna see the original video, check out the link in the description below. Firstly, we need to drag the second video clip on top of the first one in the timeline. The transition area between these video clips should be around 1 and a half seconds. To determine the desired location for the transition, we need to move the time indicator to the frame we wanna hold. Once we have found the desired frame, we can click on export frame icon to bring a pop-up window. Give the frame name that is tree1, select PNG as the format. Check the input into project checkbox and then hit OK. Next, double click on the freeze frame in the project to open it in the source monitor. Here we can adjust the duration of the frame as needed. After that we can drag this frame onto the third track of the timeline. Making sure the time indicator is still on the freeze frame's position. Now we can adjust the ending portion of this frame following the time indicator position. Now if I move the time indicator you can see the result of the freeze frame. We need to repeat the previous steps to create the next freeze frame. First we need to find the next location of the frame then click on export frame button. Let's name this one tree2 and hit ok. Once we have done this, the frame will be added to the project. Double click on it to open it in the source monitor and adjust its duration as needed. Then we can drag this frame onto the fourth track of the timeline. Following the time indicator's position, finally we can adjust the beginning portion of the frame. In the next step, we need to right click on the tree1 layer and open it in Adobe Photoshop. Here we need to remove everything from the image except the tree. To do this, we will use the eraser tool, right click on the eraser tool and set hardness to 100% and the size to around 200. With these settings, we can remove everything from the image except for the tree. However, if you are not familiar with Photoshop like me, you can find other tutorials on YouTube to help you remove the background. Once we have the tree isolated, we can adjust the eraser tool's hardness to around 30% and the size as needed. Now we need to carefully remove the remaining background around the tree. We can also use this tool to remove any background inside the tree. Once we are done, we need to save the file by hitting the Ctrl plus S key at the same time and then close Photoshop to get back to Premiere Pro. Let's move the time indicator to see the changes. If you want to understand it better, hide the second track of the timeline by clicking the eye icon. Now it's time for the second frame. Right click on it to open the frame in Photoshop. Use the eraser tool to remove background from the image except for the trees to the right. Adjust the hardness and size of the eraser tool, then carefully complete the rest of the work. Once done, save it by hitting the Ctrl plus S key and close Photoshop. Now it's time to animate the first image. Select the frame or image and go to the effects controls. Move the time indicator to the beginning and change the scale size to 80. You notice the changes in the tree. Then move the time indicator to the end and set another keyframe with the default value which is 100. Now you notice the animation of the tree, it's moving following the first video. For the next step of the animation, go to the effects and find the basic 3D effect. Drag this effect over to the timeline and apply it to the first frame. In the effect controls, set a keyframe of till at the end. Move the time indicator to the beginning and create another keyframe with a value of negative 90 to tilt the tree. To give the animation a bouncing feel, set another keyframe here with a value of 30. Finally, select all of the keyframes and make them VGA to smooth the animation. Now let's apply the similar animation to the fourth track. So first of all, highlight it and move to the effect controls. Add a keyframe of scale with a value of 80 at the beginning. Go to the end of the freeze frame and set its default value. And you see the animation like the first one. Apply the basic 3D effect to this layer as well. Set a keyframe of till at the end. Move the time indicator a few frames backward to set a keyframe with a value of 30. Go to the starting point and make the final keyframe with a value of negative 90. Make all the keyframes busy to complete the animation. It's time to unhide the second video layer by clicking on the eye icon. Play the video once and see how the animated trees are blending into the video. 
we are almost at the end of this transition tutorial. Select the second video layer and go to the first frame of the layer. In the effect controls under opposite take the pen tool and draw a simple marks exactly here in the second video. Click on the marks to add a keyframe. Move the time indicator to the almost end of the third layer and enable the marks by selecting marks 1. Change the position of the masking points to follow the road and set max feather value to approximately 250. Let's play it to see the changes. Now let's draw a second shape or max. Take the pen tool once again and change zoom level of the program monitor to 25%. Draw a max below the frame and move the time indicator to the left. Set a keyframe of the max path and make sure the max 2 is selected. Move the time indicator to the right and change the position of the masking points. Set masking feather value to 250 as needed. Let's see the transition and then we can change the zoom level to fit. That's all for today's awesome transition tutorial in Premiere Pro. From the video feel the sounds of Kenya. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as it was the most requested one. Thanks for watching till now. See you later in the next video.